in Isaiah 55, 6, we're told to seek the Lord where he can be found. And, you know, that's very interesting because if we're living in the heavenly will of God, like we talked about last week, uh, we're already in the presence of God. So to seek the Lord is just talking to him. He's right there. So we're living with the Lord when we live in his heavenly will. And even though we're here on earth with all of the earthly problems, we're still in the heavenly will of God. We're, we're living in that area where we can seek him. And it's almost like we can stick out our, our hand and feel his presence. Because that's where he is. And the Lord is always there. And when we do that, he responds. Maybe not, you know, we might not hear him in, in a loud voice, but we'll know his presence is there. He'll let us know somewhat. It's either that subtle inner feeling or something will happen or somebody will approach us. He'll do something to let us know. And that's seeking the Lord. And that's the problem we have in the world today. What's happening in Ukraine is a perfect example of people that don't care about God, like Putin. He obviously doesn't, no matter what he would ever say. But we need to live in the heavenly will of God where there is no pain or suffering or death. And anybody that causes pain, suffering, or death to any human being or any animal cannot be living in the heavenly will of God, nor can they seek the Lord in those conditions unless we repent. It's that simple. And it's so much easier to live in his heavenly will. Amen.